Hey guys, it's me, Supio Gray, and we are back with part 13 of Yakuza Like a Dragon. So let's go ahead and get Shit. it started. I thought this fucking lube was shampoo. Nice. Yeah, refreshing. <laughs> Put it in your hair. That's funny. Crap, you, you're already out of the bath? Sorry. My bad, part 12, Casca, not 13. Relax. I know what a naked man looks like. Uh, cool. Then, uh, uh where's Adachi-san and Namba? I'm probably still washing up. Anyway, I was looking into today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like, what you'd expect for high-class stuff. Yeah. It must be primo, then. Guess they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. I mean... I'm sure they get a small discount for paying in cash, but they're doing everything above board, far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients for. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them, 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then sell it for 10,000 yen? Yeah, they're that doing something, shady. How are they turning a profit? Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up. Probably laundering for with the something life else. Of me, I can't figure out how. I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know, but I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Hey, yup. <laughs> don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies. Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? <laughs> well, yeah, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone dying here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Nice clothes. Hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, Let's knock back some drinks. Of sure. course. On whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man. We gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss <laughs> is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. <laughs> You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. The dodgy son turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. Yeah. Whose tab was it on, anyways? Nice. Shoes off. Is this. Well, I'll just. Yo. Where I thought. It's Bleach Japan. Why are they here when it's closed down? What the hell? Because that doesn't make any sense. It's already shut down. What do they want now? Yeah. My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity. Yes, it's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, building now. our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! No. He died. This is our victory. The first bricks of the gray zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away. But we must not be complacent. We must press on until all the gray zones have been purified! Yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. 
It's really not a good time. He doesn't care. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Like I said. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed. This building should be vacant. That yeah! is right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff. Oh, can we beat him up? He threw the first punch, you know. Keep your protest to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors. <laughs> what? Self-defense? He, he can use violence to crush the voices of the people. He's obviously living in the past. Hurry, let's close up before they start in on us, too. No. Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? I mean, we could start getting paid by them. Get out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! <sighs> now, get out of our town and don't ever come back. Oh, yeah? I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth spreading vector of disease. <laughs> he did the noble thing by taking his own life. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring yeah. myself to be sorry that he's gone. I don't like him. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. Don't do it though. I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here. Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? <laughs> Too late now, you little tart. You assaulted me. I mean, the other dude assaulted me, so. The police. Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? Mm. This kind of fucker. Oh. I hit him like this. <laughs> Our leader's down. Let's get in there. Oh, yes. Yes, please. You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? Please. They were ready to incite violence all along. I want to be... We're good to go, right, boss? Of course. You saw it. They attacked oh, you guys first. attacked me first. Oh, we about to beat them. Come on, everyone. This is our moment. Let's Leaves kill the, the protesters. Way. No protesting. Right. <sighs> Honestly, bleat Japan. Dang, dude, you weak. Like, when you say weak, like, you really mean weak. Okay, you good. Honestly. I'm a steer you since right here. Hope you enjoyed that. Another indictment. Why do I bother? <laughs> nice. Honestly, who do I want? I want you. I want to try to go through the people next to you. There we go. Honestly, attacks that can hit multiple people like that, that's, it's amazing. Because it's like, dude, they are so dead. Who else? Well, later. And now you. I'll just flash you now. Let's go. Let's do it. Right. 
guess I'll just beat on him real quick, you know? More. Let's do it. <laughs> you should have wished you weren't right here. You're done. Let's get you. And let's get you. <laughs> so what you gonna do now, huh? Oh, you gonna do that? Honestly, I'll have fun with you. I'll just beat you. Won't even use any special. Honestly, nah. Screw you. We all gonna take you down, dude. Come on, guys. Just tag team them. Get rid of the bleach. Burn them out. Punch them away. Kick them good. Drop kick them harder. Bye bye. So how you feel, huh? Someone call the police! Tell them we're being attacked by thugs! Mm. They're all like, yeah, nah. We saw what happened. Go away! Go away! Go away! <laughs> Protesting Go the away! protesters. Go away! Go away! Go away! I like Go that. Away! Today will only Go strengthen away. our resolve. Go away. We're done playing around. Mm -hmm. Well, bye. Serves you right. Don't come back. This is our town. Yeah. Good job, everyone. So inspiring to see you fight evil. Yeah. Remember this day with pride. <laughs> they got what was coming. <laughs> We're heroes. Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. Yeah, that was messed up. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Uh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. You're all yeah, good. Don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides, what? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. You. Yep. Man, that felt good. After all this time, we got to actually do something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wish those useless bums in the Seryu clan could have seen that. Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's going to protect us but us. Yep. The Yakuza aren't going to help. I agree. These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seryu clan. Yeah. Remember this day should be you guys. up with you, you. Not them. You should <laughs> teach them another way <laughs> safer with you around. Are we about to get another job? They gonna pay us. <laughs> Man, that was nice. Feels like forever since I got a compliment. You weren't even there. <laughs> hey, no no my no no me son. Hmm? What's her deal? You know, she probably is a client, not a client, a worker. Let's see. I bet I got her is voice right. Today? I did. No, no, me, no, no, me son. It's me, Eric Told you. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Well, oh, what are you here I'm for? I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh. Not well, like that. Anyway, is <laughs> Nonomiya san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. You know. No, what? Well, Nonomiya san, he. Is someone gonna. He nope. died. No one's gonna take what? over? Uh, 
He's... I don't... He, he can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh... Yeah, she fainted. Hey. Oh, shit. I think we're losing her. Hey, you all right? Are we going to take her inside? That's like... Okay, I was going to say, that's the only sensible thing. I mean, you could leave it there. Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but... I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. Eri! I'm Ichiban Confections. Which is... Damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best. Which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. No, oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijingcho. Until... Until what? Ah. Uh. Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. Oh no. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then. But I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but it's like I guess sometimes. it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. Mm. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Well, that was nice. Mm. He used to be a regular of the senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business so that my grandpa's senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. That nice? There's no no me of being a cool guy on the down low again. Honestly. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah, I thought maybe this was going to be another one of those exploiter, and, you know, portion of work in his soap land situations. I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can hmm. see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president, maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible, but... Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. He did? Which was what? Yeah. He actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he <laughs> wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. Uh, what? Are we gonna do a business for him? <laughs> One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. 
So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Hmm, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. <laughs> Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. No, no, Mia-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway, I should get going. Well. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Later. W wait, what about your business? I think... Nanomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. <laughs> I had no place here anyway. I mean, you could try. Hey now, is that what you really want? Not this place up, is you know? important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? You're gonna have to put in much, well, too. Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. Are we about to work? No strategy. I'm completely alone. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. What was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. John. Don't do All it, right. Kaska. I got you. Oh, of course. Huh? Oh no. Got another job. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. <sighs> really? But I. Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's <laughs> gotta be fit. <laughs> right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to nice. carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it, too. But this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but... We owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's going to pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's I just guess. Think of this as paying him back. <sighs> Fine. Let's do it. <laughs> paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figures you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. <laughs> so give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, He's like, Ichiban. You signed up. If anyone me. can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, that's you. I believe in you, Ichan. <laughs> yeah, but what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you are you really sure about this? Huh? Well, well, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be the president, prime minister, whatever you need. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. You're welcome. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Sari John. Likewise. Okay then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. 
<laughs> you got this, Mr. President. <laughs> Hail to the chief. President Kasaga. Come on, guys. <laughs> They really dipped out oh, on me. This is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse, and we ended up back here. Mm. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. Hmm. Seems like a pretty decent shop. I have no idea what Sunbay is, but oh, so this is the office. Because I thought he said rice balls. Excuse the mess we've got Don't going right now. That. Hey, Eri Chan, welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes, Kasuga San <laughs> will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya San. Kasuga San. This is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. Are you gonna make more? She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. You know, she's so not lonely and stuff. Oh, Tome Kamataki. Nice to Ooh, meet you. Oh, she's a cutie. Tome -san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you too. Ichiban. Hmm, older gentleman, unique hairdo. Thick build, Yakuza. toned muscles. Aww. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri Chan. G Grandma, he's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, honestly, so when I'm old, I want to do that. <laughs> it's cool. It's funny, you know. I wasn't expecting that. Just staring. Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. <laughs> she's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. <laughs> okay. Perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This Let's is going to be it. quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Bet. Sure thing. I will. Because I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> Guess I'm doing it right now. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. Why you give me an option? It won't let me out the door. Yeah. Let's do it. All right then. Here we go. They say one of the okay, cool. <laughs> Let's try running the business once to get a feel for how management works. Okay, uh, I guess I want to open it because you know you can't do stuff without opening. We got so a job to do. Open it. Uh, <clears throat> okay. God. Okay, cool. The employees are very motivated. Cool. We're open for business. Let's get it done. Traffic caused delays, oh no. Cool. Traffic caused more delays, oh no. The staff is winning the mo- okay, yeah. The sales- okay, cool. You better not say traffic. Don't do it. Yeah, keep the money coming in. Too many returns coming in. Business concluded. Cool. These results are kind of underwhelming. Okay. Oh, uh, we're kind of bleeding money here. Things are tanking. Dang. It dropped. Our ranking dropped. Uh. And that's about all there is to managing a business. Wait, what? So? Not too hard, is it? I... Yeah, not so bad. Uh... Yeah. uh... Wait up. 
You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. <laughs> broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. <laughs> right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. <laughs> do you Seriously? find out? <laughs> what kind of mess did I get myself into? Yeah, welcome all to right. management. Well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who's someone with money? Or a rich friend? Or maybe someone from <laughs> your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron? Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. <laughs> what is it? No. He wouldn't, would he? Who? Who am I thinking of? That's where of? I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this for both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of financing, I think it's called. Please, man, can you help me out? <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. I forgot about him. You okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. <laughs> of course, Nick no would act like that. I'd be thrilled to invest in your company. Well, bad. Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Okay, but what are they? Conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Okay. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't well, ever currently. want to be a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on my end. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Mm -hmm. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Okay, share we got one? that. Ranking. It's what measures the company's We're at 152. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suits you fine? Yeah. Yeah. What's condition three? The Is it going to be and heavy? You can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I, I want mean, that yeah. little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? I mean, I'ma do it. You got yourself a deal. You know? I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. <laughs> Guess you're doing it, guys. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like. Be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome! Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, cool. Adios. Well, we secured a the loan, but not. How much money Just does this look man have? At all this money. Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! <laughs> I'd be all over you if I was younger! Uh, gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing! Thank you, Kasuga-san! Save your <laughs> thanks for Nikogata. Besides, 
It's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and, and ultimately being number take the one. top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company Gosh, back on its feet again. Guess we're doing that. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You're gonna lock me in the room again? That man gave 500 mil. You... Guess I'm ready. I think Nothing it's about else you let time me do. to put Nixon's money to use and Yeah, school. let's do it. Then without further ado... Kasuga son, I think it'd be wise to maximize Nick's son's investment by doing the current state of the company. Let's start by checking in Ichiban Confections. Cool. Now, properties allow you to buy or sell properties as well as improve those you own. Right now, I feel we should focus on assigning our employees. As it turns out, I'm not too sure about what will work best for us. Kasuga son, I'll leave the review. Of the assigned employees to you. Cool. So I can purchase an additional. Um. Okay. So let's see. One of chicken does better than you. Granny over here. I want. I'll give it my best. Yeah. Uh. Nicely done, Kasuke san. Employees are assigned and ready to go. Continuing on, please check the employees assigned to Ichiban Confection. I mean, that's where I am. Ichiban Confections currently has five employees. But to be honest, the wages we're paying out are one of the biggest detriments to our profits. This is going to sound terrible, but laying off to the employees might be necessary to get us back on track. Kasuga san, please there are two employees who are not currently as really? So I have three assigned and two left. Hmm, I wonder which one. Like Yeah, sorry dude. Dude, you're you were always late because of traffic. Like. Great, we should start seeing some improvements from here on. All that's left now is to see about the dice fall. You can also strengthen properties from the manage properties menu. How you handle that is up to you, Kasuga Sun. Okay, Kasuga Sun, if you're all set, then let's get down to business. We got a job to do. Okay, let's see what happens. Gotta go all the way at least right there. Okay, we gotta keep the employees motivated. Let's open for business. We got this, guys. This play is drawing trees. Perfect. Keep coming, keep coming. The staff is the one in the moment. This play is drawing eyes. A. Staff is winning. A. A. Let's go. Results. Nice. Nice. You guys did great out there. Things are going up. Okay, we did good, guys. Barely. Are we gonna rank up too? That's the good shit. Oh, we didn't go up for. Our... Oh, one. Nice. Hell yeah! We actually made a profit. <laughs> Amazing. We did it! We're out of the red dust. to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right. To invest in people or infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways to do this right here and now. But we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. 
I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. <laughs> you know it. Okay, Omelette. Well, bet. Are you gonna let me out now? Oh, now. Now they let me out. Cool. If, whenever I'm ready, you know? Hell of a day. We've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies <laughs> now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. You good there? You gonna get some sleep? Does she? No. You ever notice how she only picks on me? You just get Maybe a little grumpy. Maybe to men she's secretly attracted to. <laughs> you and your mind too much. Hell, oh boy. <laughs> Make dinner for everyone. Ooh. Wow. You can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, okay. come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Maybe. Maybe she does. Oh my gosh. He thinks he's. Oh my gosh. Cool. Whatever. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But. But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I mean, it doesn't look like she has much. a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us, but it's what she wants. Yep. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. Okay, cool. See you guys later. Have fun. We sure went hard. <laughs> it was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I guess we should head to the warehouse. What's up? We gotta get to the bottom of this shady stuff quick. I can't handle much more of it. Come on. Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. Gets the money, gives it to him. Oh, we don't have enough, do we? No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss. What you gonna do? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Show to the Jendira. Mm, they're not gonna like that, are they? Yep, that's what I figured. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hmm. Yeah, you can't. Don't do it. Don't listen to him. He's lying. Wait right here. Yes, sir. Nice. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? No nice. food. That'd be weird. <laughs> nice. What? Oh, um, it's not here yet. Nah, he just painted. They're painting it, selling it for money. Money laundering, but give them fake money. What? Counterfeit bills? Told you so. Yeah, those have got to be fake. No other reason. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. 
never set foot outside. Mm. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Mm. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it? Mm. Then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? Exactly. There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. Nah. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. Correct. So then the boss got more money from somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? Yup. There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone. I'm telling stuff. you, they're coloring. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. You wonder what he was doing? Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. Yes. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What? And all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake ass money? Yep. I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. So why don't there they has to be check some them out? Reason why you know? they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Like Maybe wouldn't it the, sounds believable to you two, but not Wouldn't to the me. sellers check it? But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, yeah, but... the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's I mean, bold, I guess. But in a way, airtight. I don't know about Mabuchi's that. he's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean money laundering? Yeah, I called a guy. I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe okay. that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. Sure. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we Gotta snuck up to the second day? floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we already went to one thing dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, <laughs> but if yeah, you get caught... Didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Yeah, this is gonna be close, guys. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. <laughs> then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? <laughs> I'm beat. No worries. I'll go. Let's do it. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yo. Yeah. Was the Your hardest old life one must out have there. Been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, <laughs> let's go. 
gets hit by a car. I've been hit by so many in this game. It's wild. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, subscribe, and also comment down below. And as always, guys, stay safe out there, and peace out.